Hello, this is Kinky, and this is part three, B. Uh, as we enter this little section, you'll notice that it's far out in the middle of nowhere, and you'll notice that our gun has upgraded to level six. This is what I was telling you about before in part A, is that that gun fails for those type of critters. It uh, it, you know, it's on that one. He died quickly because I aimed square on him. And you also notice that there's those floating eyeballs of doom. They can pass between the screens, so, and they can nail you because of it. So try from now on. Uh, like if you see those little eyeballs, wait till they completely clear the room, and then go to the next room, or they'll chase you. One screen. And uh, here's another gun upgrade. So we're back to where we were, and the uh, glowy power thingy, if we get damaged, uh, we should be okay there. Uh, those little flowy guys uh, also drop uh, H's, which I'll discuss later once I get that upgrade. But right now I'm not really concerned about H power-ups. And I'm just kind of going around exploring. Uh, it says I got wounded running into that guy. I figured I'd power up again. And I'll start searching around. Uh, anyway, back to what I was talking about before with uh, Fez and uh, gaming culture. Um, I'm kind of one of those uh, players who I don't really think that graphics should be 90% of the game. Uh, I mean... I mean, sure, I can start opening the flame room and whatnot, but uh, there's a lot of games nowadays that are so hyped up that they've missed entirely what the game is about. Like, uh, take for example, um, Ninja Gaiden for, for PS2 or PS1 or something. I mean. Comparing that to the original set of three, uh, and then nowadays, it's like they're tr they're trying way so hard to get with the young the the younger style gamers of throwing high graphics at you that they lose the perfect lose the point of the game. Um, I mean, uh, like take Zelda for example. A lot of people kind of rage, well, there's no continuity between the games. Uh, sp and supposedly, a while, uh, while back, uh, when a guy was interviewed about who Link actually was, it was supposed to be that the reply was something to the effect that Link is actually supposed to be a Link to represent you. That was you as the player. It wasn't meant to be like you know a great excellent character that has his own thing he's just meant to be you they weren't trying to go bonkers with it uh, if anybody wants to say hey I'm wrong or whatnot or go look it up that's fine too I, I th think you I got that quote from uh, I think it was like one of those gaming network shows. Um, I might be wrong though on that. And if I am, uh, you, you can go ahead and say, "Hey, I'm full of shit," and go that way. Uh, and as you notice, my gun is downgraded a lot to where it's uh, just a really, really long shot, single shot thing, sort of thing. And it actually kills them a lot better than uh, <laughs> how I had with the wavy gun. Wavy uh, fountainy gun. Uh, this guy gives me a little bit of trouble, but that's due to my recording screen size. <laughs> uh, I I have to play like a really small uh, screen, and I I can take a screenshot of it to show if anybody's interested in how small the screen I had to play in to get this uh, size of a film quality going. And now we're back to wispy gun again. Or almost, almost near Wispy Gun. Uh, clear out these guys, and down below, oh, there's a, a shiny gun. It knocks it up four points. So now I'm at max gun. 
And the, the convenience of that only hint goes to show you that there is a boss nearby. Yay. And I will go ahead and let you listen to the boss music for the remainder of the video. And with that, that's that for the end of that boss. This is Kinky signing out. Thank you. Also, uh, check my uh, description for all music credits. Thank you.